all right welcome back if you didn't watch the first video go watch the first video and come back all right let's get started let's start where we left off i think we were probably in room 302 i don't know if we checked that room let's check that room real quick okay Two patients. Three on one. This is Mr. Kissing Kissinger. Kissinger. Okay. He was admitted last night with the high fever he also suffered he's also suffering from severe pain on the right side of his body and an acute rash how are we feeling today miss Ken, mr kinsinger good so far dr k i had a rough night and i'm hungry but that sounds perfect i would have been worried if you slept well Mia, yes. What do you think? What do I think? Your uh, diagnosis. I see. Yeah, sure. I, I can't figure it out. You can't figure it out. Sorry about that. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to the patient. You really, you really need to work on yourself, Mia. I know. Mr. Kissinger is suffering from herpes. Wait, am I saying that right? I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, a very pronounced case of shingles. Nothing serious, but we will keep him under observation another day or two. Let's not waste any more time. Get well soon, Mr. Kissinger. Thanks. We still have two more patients to visit in room 302. Let's go. The day is almost over already. Okay, not gonna lie. Before we move on, Mr. K is like, he's kind of mean, even though he might be like telling the truth. He's still kind of hard. Follow. Okay, go to room 302. All right, let's see if we can check on this patient. Okay, probably not. I think we're an intern or something because we're kind of in the backgrounds. I don't know. Now, you're they out in the hallway right now. Good morning, Mr. K. Yo, these names are weird, so I'm just going to say... The first letter of the name. Good morning. Are the painkillers working? Yes, thank God. That was one hell of a pain. Mrs. K came to us yesterday evening with severe pain in her lower uh, abdomen. She has vomited a few times. Urinating is also difficult. It's your turn now. Finally, being late doesn't mean you can't strength work so go on okay well anything else to say have you gone as silent as a church mouse urinary stones the patient has urinary stones i don't know if i'm saying that right you should have read about them enough enough times in your textbook. Mrs. K, I wish you a quick recovery. Call the nursing staff if you need anything. Thank you so much, doctor. Okay. Follow me. Last patient, last chance. But why didn't he... It should have let me say something. I don't know. I guess I have to look nervous or something. Good morning, Miss. Um, Mrs. Amy, how are you? 
How are you today? Just a moment. What's what's this? Your dress. Your dressing is soaking wet. When was the last time it was changed? Yesterday, I think yesterday at midday. Midday yesterday. Finley, change the dressing now. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. This staff is pretty. It's not good. This staff is like, okay, it says treatment. Take care of your patients. Press and hold the shown button. Do not press other buttons or more buttons being displayed. Try to react as fast as possible. So press and hold. Press and hold it. Okay. Y'all, yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Press, okay. They're not telling me what to do. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, okay. Y'all, yeah, I was acting kind of slow for a second. What? So it's up, circle, right stick. Up, circle, right stick. Up. Hold on, I might be actually. I was too close to the. Yo, I'm gonna fail this part because I'm doing the right thing. Look at that. Up, circle, right. It's not up, oh, up, and then circle and right. I have no idea. Yo, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna pass this one, y'all. Treatment. Oh, treatment completed. Okay. Even though I didn't actually finish it. Who was on duty yesterday? I, me, I was thinking I was going to change it. The storage room up here was empty. I, I was going to the basement to get a new dressing. And then you forgot about it. Then you forgot about it. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I don't tolerate such sloppiness on this ward. Dr. K... It was probably just an oversight. Finally, you stay out of this. Get a grip, Mia. You're not going to get far of changing a simple dressing fluster. You like that. Dang. Dr. K, let's not get so worked up. You know yourself. You know yourself how, stre how stressful it is here. We're also constantly understaffed in nursing. These two are new. They need to get warmed up first. There's no excuse. I don't want to see a mistake like that again. And what are you doing here anyways? This ward storage, this ward storage room is empty again. Just do your job and take care of it. These rounds are over. Angela, that was that kind of was rude, even though. They even though they're new, they should know what to do, kinda. Not gonna lie, but Dr. K is kinda acting like a butthole though. Like, oh, and then I gotta talk to him because let's see what you want to talk about. I expected more from you, Finley. If that's your best, then woo to this hospital. Dang, because I failed that little um, that little test or whatever. Okay, we're gonna go down to like, um, hold on, what's our task? We have no task. I already checked those other rooms in the last video. So I'm just gonna keep going and just leave from this point on. But right now we don't have a task on the uh, search bar thing. So I'm just gonna go all the way down. Wait, we can, oh, this is ground level, I think, yeah. And leave this. Let's see. Yeah, we get to fly again, or like jump or something. Okay, let's go, let's go back this way. Let's go back this way. Cause we already checked all this stuff. 
Let's talk to her real quick, because I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Quite sassy. What's up with the snack machine? Oh, uh, we keep asking her questions. Let's ask her another question real quick. Who knows? It was working last night. Oh, Gregory's probably been tampering with it again. But do you mind taking a look at it? You seem skilled. Didn't you just say I was late? Priorities, kid. You know my blood sugar is shockingly low. By helping me, you're helping the entire hospital. I'm on it. Okay, let's go full with this snack machine, I guess. This machine's dead. Fortunately, there's nothing we can do for it. Time of death. We've talked to, um, to his family. Before I passed away, it signed a snack donor card. I would do my duty as a doctor. Whoa, what in the world? Oh, okay. I didn't know what was going on. Thank you, machine. Thanks to your sacrifice, others can now satisfy their sugar cravings. Okay, now we have a snack in our inventory. All right, let's go and give it to her. I like you, but I really am about to lose it. Oh, uh, she probably said it because I jumped on the desk. Is that a coffee cream prickle? Just for you, fresh from the machine. You just saved my life, kid. Well, what was it you wanted to know? What's new? Oh, that's right. The cafeteria is closed today. Dr. Hale um, allegedly tried to heat up his micro, I don't know, something, microbiotic instant meal in surge, in surge stone oven, I mean oven. Such a mess. I hope you've made yourself a sandwich today. And two new patients were put on your ward last night. One of them has a nasty rash. I mean, a case of shingles, if you ask me. The other one has barely, um, was barely able to walk. Expected urinary stones. But I think he's well on his way to a uh, renal colon. We've kept both of them here for now. I'm sure you'll meet them today. The things you know, Ingrid. I've been here for 30 years, my dear. Now let me enjoy this creamy coffee deliciousness. What are you still doing here? Hurry to the third floor. Otherwise, Dr. K will give you hell. Oh, the elevator's broken again. Don't even bother trying it. Got to see you later. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so... I've actually kind of did the gameplay a little backwards. I didn't ex I didn't get the candy bar in the first um video. So now I'm just like was talking to her. Okay, now it's telling me to go back to the third floor. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do this again. I think I might have to do that, um I think I might have to do that gameplay again. Or I think it's gonna make me redo it or something. Let me see. Let's go to the third floor. I'm gonna try to make this quick because I already showed y'all this. I don't know if it's gonna make me have to do the same thing again. Okay, need it to the third floor. Okay, great. Down here. Let's see if I can talk to him again. I expect them more from you. Okay, he already said that. Okay, now where am I supposed to go? Let's go to room 301. But yeah, like I said, I kind of did the gameplay a little backwards because I had missed a step. So I'm trying to see where I'm supposed to go. Before before I talked to her, it said that my day was over or something like that. But then I talked to her and I got the candy bar at the, out of the machine. And it said go to the third floor. But I'm up here at the third floor and it's no cuts cutscenes at all. See? It says go to the third floor. I'm up here though. There's nothing to do. Because I already did um a little bit of that gameplay already. So I have no idea what I'm supposed to do right now. Talk to him again. He's gonna keep saying the same thing. Um Let's see if we can find that um that cow that um nurse that was with us. 
If, if not, I'm just gonna see if I can leave the place or something so they can end the day or something. Let me see. Oh, there she is. Talk to her. Hey, uh, Carl. It was great of you to stand up for Mia just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? I'm waiting for the for the damn elevator. Yeah, I didn't know this. I thought this game was PG, but okay, it's not. It's broken. Again, great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Kay said. The war storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I could help you with the carrying. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs unless they're broken now as well. What could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. Okay. Go with Carl to the main storage in the ground floor. I mean, on the ground floor. Oh, she's gonna follow me? Okay. Let's talk to her before we go down there, though. Hey, Mia, everything okay? Okay, she's not talking. Let's see if we can get another... Okay, we can't talk to her anymore. So, I guess she's, um, sad or... I don't know. She might be sad because Dr. K was a little harsh on her or something. Either sad or upset, I'm not sure. The only thing I seen was like a couple died, so I don't even know what that means for their their emotions. Or she just had nothing to say at all. Okay. Meow. I can fly. Oh, I was not trying to go to the other level. Okay, we're on the ground level. Where I forgot where the storage unit was. I checked where the storage unit was in the first episode, but I did not check for the second one. And I think I forgot, but I think it's down here though. Yeah, it's this room right here. No, it's not. Wait, yes it is. This is our main storage room, my second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together, friendly. You better stay back here. Anything could be hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact it's a King Cobra. Why don't we have any snake handling gloves then? We do. There are some there are somewhere in the main storage room. Seriously? No no jokes about King Cobras. Okay, okay. No need to get um historical. No jokes. Let's get this let's get this up with you. Agreed. I'm not gonna lie, I wish they would've let us go in there, but it is what it is. That's a lot of stuff. The day, the day, the day will be over. I don't know what they're trying to say, but the day will be over if we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it will also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital is really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Oh, Glendower, good luck with that. Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregory touches ends up even more broke than before. Come on, let's give it a try at least. All right, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself every unnecessary step after you. Okay, let's go ask Gregory. Hello, Mr. Glendower. Who is this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't need, I don't have any spare parts. Usually do it with duct tape and glue and a glue gun. That's why, it, that's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Gregory, we need the elevator and I need my cigarettes. This is crazy. I did not know they was going to speak like this on this game. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes? No help for me. If I find my cigarettes, if you, if I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, all right. 
I was in the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash dumpster at the back entrance and I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I can do for it. So my smokes must be there. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't don't want any, anything else getting stolen. That's Cap. She don't want to walk anywhere. But I know she's like she's an old lady. Let's talk to her real quick though. See, see what she gotta say. Have you found those damn cigarettes yet? My day is busy already. Okay. Let's go. Didn't they say it was by Ingrid's coffee machine? I'm not gonna lie, I already forgot who Ingrid was, but I think it's this lady at the front desk. Oh, hold on, let's see if they're in here. Listen, trash can. I don't trust you. I've got my eye on you. Okay. Okay, never mind. Then he said it was in the front parking lot, did it? I think he said he was, it was in the front back for lot or something. Okay. I forgot it looks so little outside. Okay. Let's see if we can find him in the parking lot. If not, we're going to have to go to the back parking lot. Let's see. Wait, what was that glowing? Oh, nothing. Alright. Oh, I was not trying to stop at that thing again. Okay. It's a puddle. I don't think anything's out here, so I might just yeah. Let me go ahead and head back to the um to the back of the building where the dumpsters are. So I just think going all the way down is gonna be a waste of time. I don't know how we're gonna find a pack of cigarettes just laying around, but I guess we gotta find them. Okay, let's see. Let's check this ambulance real quick. Okay, we already read all of that in the first one, so I'm just gonna, you know, just skip it. But if you want, if you want to read it, you probably have to slow down the. Um, Barry said he was at the dumpster this morning. There, there really are cigarettes in here, and they still look pretty good. The reddish brown is sludge. Let's turn down this music. I don't know if y'all can hear me good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Okay, we found him. That was easy. Found him already. They did not hide him very well. Okay, let's go back. Let's talk to her because we did find him. That's your cigarettes. So what are you waiting for? Give the old fart what he wants. It's getting late. Alright, let's go ahead and give him what he wants. Mr. Glendower, hello. Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes, I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now with um, duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promised they order new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll give it a couple of good whacks. That usually helps, too. Okay, so what I see from here is this... This is a pretty much like, pretty much like a downhill hospital. Like this hospital is not, you know, in the, you know, the greatest shape or whatever. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done with it. No problem, thanks. Okay, found the cigarette, so let's see if he fixed the elevator. I'm always surprised um, whenever anything works in this dump. I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure, um, I don't even know what that said at the end. I clicked 
circle so fast. Enjoy it while you can. It could be over soon. And whenever the time comes, try not to be in the elevator. You were great help, Finley. We could use people like you in this hospital. I'm glad I could help. Now get going. You should take care of your patients. Talk to Dr. K. She'll um she'll give you your assignment for today's shift. We'll do. See you later. There ain't no um there ain't no way around that. Okay. Let's talk to her real quick. Let's see. Hey Finley, you wanna get yourself fired? <laughs> Go and talk to Dr. K. Okay. I was wait, there's me again. I uh, can't talk to her. She's probably about to talk to um wait, is she following me? I don't know, where is she going? Or we just happen to be walking in the same direction at the same time. Let's see where she goes real quick. The elevator's working though, I think, isn't it? Let's see where she's going. Oh, he's right there. But where is she going though? Ding 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 ding. Okay, and then she stops. Okay, whoa, and then she keeps going. Hold on, let's see where she goes. I'm just being nosy at this point. Oh, it's a patient. Let's talk to the patient. Is there another restroom on this floor? I'm afraid not. What's wrong with the bathroom in your room? My roommate is having a hard time digesting the food. He spends more time on the potty than in his bed. Awkward. Unpleasant. Okay. Okay, let's see what assignments I have to do real quick. Alright, let's talk to him. There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. Well, let the nurses take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? We're testing digital patient records right now. You could down you can download your patient information before the shift begins. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay, I'm tap oh there it goes. New test available. Download today's schedule. Okay. Schedule updated. Take care of your patients. Let's go to room 301 real quick. No, that's P. That's um P31. I think they're over here though. Let's see. Let's see what he says. He's probably gonna say something smart. Now take care of your business. Come see me as soon as you're done. Top top. Yeah, he's doing a little bit too much. Okay. Let's see. Room 301, and we're looking for. I think we just talked to him in the, ha in the hallway. Hello, Mr. Um, Kissinger. What's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in this bed lately, doing nothing, looking out the window. Do you know that today in the, I mean, is the beginning of, what? Meteorologic, I don't know how to say that, fall. First day of fall. Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in the summer as... Excuse me, I was yawning. As we've had this year. That's fine by me. Let me take another look at the rash of yours. How much... Okay. Let me say... Let me just say, let's take a look at the rash real quick. Does that hurt? It's lying around is already pretty painful you know no it's not that bad i promise okay oh my gosh we have to do another little test okay yo why am i doing this part wrong so it's left stick over r1 in circle that's literally what i'm doing Y'all, I don't know. And then I press them all at the same time. It doesn't work. 
Oh, we're supposed to hold down. Y'all, we were supposed to hold down. What? Oh, I got a C? Okay, I'll try better the next time. All right, that's it. What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingles. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. The circulation seems fine though. All right, your instruments are pretty cold. They're all, they, okay. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating, have a lovely day. Okay. Y'all, we have to get better. Well, I have to get better at the um at the commands because sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to hold it down or press all the buttons at the same time. They literally do not tell you how to do it. Okay, let's go check on. I think this is a lady. Let's see. How are you, Miss Emmett? Oh, much better. Oh, much, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. I'm glad to hear it. Could I maybe have some more of them? Oh, no. She... Mm-mm. She want to do them drugs. Mm-mm. She's talking about, can I have some more painkillers? Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. And how about under the table for later? What is she talking about? Mr. Emmett, all right. My family um, physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. I will take extra care with your treatment. All right, I'll take your word for it. Girl, Angela, don't trust me. Cause I'm, trip I'm still trying to learn these commands. L2, R1, up. Oh. L2, okay, so R1 and up. We have to hold it. Okay, I'm trying to hold it. Yo, this is, not gonna lie, this is probably like one of the downsides of the game because they don't tell you if you're supposed to hold it or if you're supposed to click it at the same time. And even when I do that, it still doesn't work. So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And I got a C. I got another C. This is not good. You see? Didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I bet it will be gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Alright. But yo, that's the only thing I don't like about this game is they don't tell you like how to do the commands. Like, I know, like, where L2, R1, and Circle is, right? On the um, controller. But they don't tell you you're supposed to hold it or if you're just supposed to tap it. And they literally don't tell you anything. Let's see what he says. Can't you see how busy infecting should be, too? Dang. Y'all, I am already I already got two C's. Dang, where's she going? She hauling. Hold on. She walking fast. Hold on, let me try to catch up to her. Where the, where the heck is she going? Oh, and then she just stops out of nowhere. Let's talk to her. Sorry, kid. I ain't got time for chatting. I see you like in a hurry. Hold on. She's like, she in a... Okay, that's him again. Oh, okay. Y'all, she's just like pacing back and forth. Okay, let's go to our next patient, P30. And y'all, I still can't talk to me. I guess she don't want to be, you know, nobody talking to her, I guess. Okay. Hopefully I do better on this, um, whatever I have to treat them. Did y'all see that glitch, like, right here? I, like, glitch so hard. Good afternoon, Miss, um, Miss Dillon. My name is Finley, and I have... I mean, and I am your attending um, physician. I think that's how you said. Hello, doctor. My name is um, Casey Delwin, and I'm your patient today. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. 
nausea, abdominal pain, muscle cramps. I got it all. No spoilers, Miss um, Dillwell. I know I'm saying that right. Let me try to do my job well. Alright, let's get it on with them. Okay, y'all. Hopefully we do better on this. Okay, what do I have to do? Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right symbol is in the wrong direction. A green mark shows you that the right symbol is in the, you know, the correct one. And additional symbols will be highlighted green when they are correct. A symbol will not be in the correct um, combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. Okay. So if if the symbol is correct, it's green. If it's wrong, it's blue. I'm guessing that's what they're saying. Let's see. Okay. That's so how we go to different ones. And two. Okay. Yo, how are we supposed to know this? Like, literally. Like, okay. Let's go with a heart. And, like, how are we supposed to guess this right? I guess we're just supposed to like um, guess what we think and whatever comes out. Press circle to check your results. Okay, hold on. Let's do a tooth. Okay, so we got two right. Let's go off of pure look. Okay, now the next one either has, I wanna say it's gonna be like, I wanna say it's gonna be a bone. I'm gonna say maybe like um, that right there. Okay. Hey, we're not doing half bad. Okay, so it's not a, it's not a tooth, it's not the skull face. Let's see if it's an another heart, cause we didn't click heart yet, did we? Let's go. We got there in like three tries. Too easy. Yup, a a plus. Stop playing. That was like the easiest treatment I've done. All the other was kind of hard. Even though, what do you think? I have a um, suspicion. We'll have to do some more um, examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood, and tomorrow we'll know more. All right. You are an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow, then. I'll be here. Oh, and could you do me a favor? What can I do for you? If there's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere, I'll gladly take two tonight. If I came across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. Okay. Okay, that was a little sad because she she can't even get up. She's just thinking about the food that she can eat. That was kind of sad a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Talk to Dr. K. Yo, I got a... Okay, before we talk to him, I got like a C on both of them. Like two of my tests and I got an A on the last one. So let's see what he says. Did you take care of all your patients? Yes, all taken care of. I don't know what to make of you yet. Your performance could be better. I don't want to demote you, but I have my eye on you. I want to see more from you tomorrow, understand? I don't want to disappoint you, doctor, okay? I'll show you what I'm made of. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. Okay. Yeah, I don't know when this, uh, remember I am playing a demo, so I don't know when this demo is going to be over with. We might not get to the next part of the, um, the next part of where, um, Finley, I think that's her name, where Finley does work on the night shift, so I'm not sure. Let's talk to him. Okay, can't talk to him. Let's go down here and see if anybody else is down here. Like, either Mila or that old lady. Okay, nobody's over here. Alright, so we're just gonna leave, because there's nothing else going on. I don't think there's there's nothing else for me to do. It says talk to him, but I'm just gonna go downstairs. Because where are we gonna talk about? I already talked to him. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go this way. Let's talk down now. Dang. I'll count to three. She ain't counting. She ain't counting on three. Let's see what she says. Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shit tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, finally I get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. 
Is that your is that you fling? Have a nice evening, Ingrid. Okay, well, that's the end of my day. Hold on, let's go to the machine real quick. This name um uh, machine soothes me somehow. No matter how stressful my day gets, no matter what happens, the snack the snacks sit here and grow old gracefully. You need um consistent in your life. Hey, already um thinking about going home, ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No no no. Come down to givers. We um with me. We'll have a drink together. One drink. One will soon become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. All right, but let's take Mia with us. She has, she's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. I've just seen Mia down here. She must be around here somewhere. Okay. So now let's find Mia, of course. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's see. If, um, that's two. Let's see what she's gonna say for the third one. Oh, never mind. I've had enough. Come here. You ankle biter. What? Y'all, am I really gonna get in trouble? Hold on, let's see. Oh my gosh, every good story has a good lesson. Never kidding, wait, never kidding with an angry, tired, hungry colleague, except, except you want to learn the lesson. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Let's recover. Okay. All right. I hope you learned your lesson. Now get the hell out of here. You almost made me spill my caramel latte. Okay. Let's not do that again. Because I don't want to be kicked or something from the hospital or something. And it ends the gameplay. But I didn't know something bad was going to happen. Like I didn't know she was going to react like that. Okay, where's Mia? Okay, she's not over here. But what's her name? The old lady in the pink outfit, the pink scrubs. Says so yeah, she's down here on this level. I think. I think she says she's down here on this level. Yo, what if I just hop on the desk again? Look, she's watching me too. Down. Look at her eyes. Yeah, she's watching me. Okay, let's see. Where does she go though? This is the front. Let me let me ask her real quick. Okay, can't ask her. Just saying, find me, love. But where is she? I can't remember if the lady said she's on the f first floor or what floor she was on. So I'm not gonna lie. I might have to search this whole building just to find her. Because I don't know where she is. We should have took the elevator. I don't know why I took the stairs. I thought we can go to like different um, departments or whatever, but we can't. So I just should have just took the elevator. Where is Mia? Looking for. Hopefully that she's out in this uh, these hallways, cause I don't feel like checking every single last room in here. Let's see. Oh. I accidentally uh, walked into this room. While we're in here, let's just go ahead and check. Okay, I think, yeah, this was one of my patients. Okay. So, let's keep on going now. Okay. Let's see. Where is she? Looking for her. I don't know where she went. I don't know if I should take check these rooms or what. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna waste time. But I do want to check like outside or something because she might she may be outside. So let's go. Let's check outside real quick. That's the only place I can think of right now. Or she might be in the break room. Where's the break room? I think she might be in the break room or something. Let's see. But let's check outside first. Let's check the back. 
in the bag. There she is. Okay, there's finally. Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Wanna join us? Dang, she not gonna talk? Mia. Hello, anybody there? Finley, leave me alone. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Girl, I'm just trying to, you know, hype you up, girl. I don't want to go. Okay. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. Have a nice evening, Mia. Okay. I'm trying to be nice, but she over acting mean. We at the bar now. A freshly tapped beer like this always puts my feet back on ground. No matter how much my day sucks. This is my yoga. I even took a yoga class once. Signed up for one signed up for one especially at a gym out of town. Was pretty nice, but I only went a couple a couple of times. It was a two year contract, of course, but if you have the choice between a long ride on an old bus in the heat and the cold and the rain and storm or a fresh beer just around the corner. It's an easy decision, don't you think? Hmm, what's the matter? Why so quiet? Has it always been like this in the hospital? What do you mean? Well, I've only been there a few weeks and I fall into bed every night completely wiped out. Even now I can barely keep my eyes open. Hmm, I did my training at St. Early Ursula's right after school. I learned under Dr. Theobald, he wasn't even the chief of medicine back then. And our internal medicine department was upstairs on the fifth floor. Come to think of that, that was quite a while ago. There is a ward on six. There was, it was shut down to some points. Structural defects, right? And was the work then like it is today? We didn't have all this digital stuff. The doctors were always leaving their pens in rooms. I had a really big pen collection at home, and Ingrid still fit into, and Ingrid still fit into her normal office chair. That's crazy, but hey, the woman is awesome. Yeah, I like her too, kind of. But was it as stressful as it? But was it as stressful as it is today? Huh, hard to say. Like I said, it was quite a while ago. I remember I was always totally exhausted in my first few months, but that feeling went away at some point. I think it's like jogging. At some point you get the pass of um, exhaustion and you just keep running. I hate running, me too. How can anyone enjoy that? Not a clue. I bet K, Dr. K likes to run. That would explain a lot, exactly. I gotta pee. Knock yourself out, but hurry up. I'm already, I'm ready for another round. Okay. I thought it was gonna let us explore. Oh, it is. Is it? Yeah, it's gonna let us explore. Let's go. The list of bev beverages hasn't been updated in a while. Light gooseberry beer, liver liquor, warm dormouse in the barzooka seven rounds of surprise sounds let's see what he says hello finley my friend who stepped on your foot hey um g life what's all this about it's okay long story i like long stories and i also like my life you know we're lucky to have something you can call a daily routine what do you mean I took out the trash today at noon, the garbage bag ripped, and all the gunk ran down my pants. Ugh, nasty. Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? I guess not. I count myself lucky that I have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thought. But it's still, but it's still a challenge sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyway, it's nice thought. I thought we can jump on the desk or something. There's a newspaper article on the wall. The bazooka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend. 
as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades announces announces his retirement. In just seven years, the bazooka hits his way into the hearts of the public, and now he's leaving a bruised bazooka. The bars, wow, it's called the barzooka, not bazooka. I didn't see that R right there. The Barzuka committed on his decision at a board game convention. I have achieved everything in my career that I wanted to achieve. I have fought for love and peace in the rain and the snow and in the burning sun. Now it's time for me to face a longer and harder fight. This is why I am retiring. The exact reason for his retirement were not mentioned. In just seven years, he completed in over 518 fights and 515 defeats, two victories, but the non-appearance of his opponents. And one victory by knockout, when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting, the Barzuka was one of the worst boxers in history. He was, however, recovered by his fans and his competitors for his um, humorous monologues. Wait a minute. The Barzuka? Hmm. Okay, let's see. What does he have to say? Well, tell me, what is it? The Barzuka? Is that a question? I didn't know you were a boxer. What do you mean by that? I was one of the best. My, en my enemies feared me, and the girls couldn't get enough of me. I, I would have loved to see you fight. I'm afraid I have disappointed you. The Barzuka retired many, many years ago. I've thrown in the towel. But this kitchen towel suits me too right. Better than anyone else I know. Okay. Is there anything else to say to him? Glad you came over tonight. Sure, my pleasure. It's a nice place to relax. Um. That's thanks to my interior design skills. Okay. Oh, we can talk to him? Leave me alone, kid. Dang. Can't you see what I am, um, that I'm busy right now? Ain't nothing, ain't got nothing better to do, you turd. Okay, y'all, we had to, like, see all the conversation starters. Let's see if he has anything else to tell us. Looking for the restrooms? Just up the stairs. Okay. Okay, go up the stairs. Oh, what's this? Whenever I see a dart bark, I get foggy flashbacks. I actually like playing darts, even though I rarely hit anything. I don't think I've ever won a match, but it's def um, definitely better than foosball. I hate foosball. Wow, I love records. I don't know why exactly. I rarely ever listen to music, and when I do, it's digital. But the scratching and the noise kind of remind me of my grandpa. Turn the jukebox on or turn... Oh, let's keep it on. Okay, let's see. Oh, he said they're upstairs. I thought that was the bathroom. Okay, there you go. Don't like... What's this? A book? Oh, don't stop letting... There it goes. Most of these books are older than me. Maybe older than... Um, G, even. But... And I'm saying G because I don't know how to say his name. That's why I'm saying liturgy. But neatly sorted in alphabetical order. Okay. Go up to the restroom. Hold on, let's go in here first. Gilbert, um, Gilbert's is not just the only bar, but also the only motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never ever seen a tourist in porcupine maybe that's why there's only one room hmm yeah why do i have a feeling that mia's gonna be in here why do all bars with some smell like that artificial citrus um i think it said citrus scent i can't remember what it said i mean sure nobody likes to smell of urine but do you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant whenever i smell the artificial lemon it makes me wrench and whenever okay y'all this is gonna be like the last 
we're already at like a you know couple minutes this is gonna be the last clip for this um second you know part two of porcupine fall um y'all catch me in the next video peace making a third part for this demo